Okay, welcome to part two of the video series on deploying the virtual application services engine with the MSO.ACI app. In this particular video, it's gonna be really, really short, but I just wanted to take you through the very quick steps in uh, after you have the working virtual ASE cluster healthy that we showed in the video just before this, how to install the MSO.ACI app on top of it. So with that being said, let's actually get to it. Okay, um, what I've done is I've copied the MSO.ACI app that I downloaded from dcappcenter.cisco.com onto um, an FTP server that I had. Uh, you'll notice I've got the file here. Don't worry, I'm using a version that uh, is not publicly available, but this will work with the version that you get from DC App Center. Uh, what I did was I, um, was I issued this command here of SCP, that particular file from my local directory, to a remote uh, Linux machine this is the IP address of the first VASE uh, node uh, into a temp directory. And you can see that that all copied over just fine. If I go back, this is the console of node number one of my VASE cluster. And you can see if I do an LS of the temp directory, uh, you'll see that it is in fact copied there. And now that it's copied over to the local machine, we have to do two more steps. One, we have to install it and then we have to enable it. So let's do the installation part first. So this is the command that you would issue, um, ACI Diag app install, and then of course the path to where the .aci application actually is. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. Now this is gonna take a few minutes, so I'll fast forward once this is actually uh, installed. Okay, uh, after issuing the install command, uh, you'll see that I got the image uploaded successfully. Now it's still going to take a number of minutes to actually do the install itself. So we're gonna check that by issuing the command ACI Diag space app space show. And at this current state, we can see that it's operational stage and state is still pending initialize. Again, this is gonna take a number of minutes. I'll, I'm gonna pause the video when I come back, I'll show you what the end state is and what we want to see to know that we did it correctly. Okay, after so many minutes, uh, it took a bit, um, you're gonna want to see the end state look like this. So by issuing the ACI Diag app show, we wanna see that the operational stage is post install and the state is disabled. Now, there's one more step we need to do is we actually need to now enable this newly installed application. Okay, so the command we wanna issue is ACI Diag app enable and then we're gonna copy and paste the actual name and version from the output of the ACI Diag uh, app show command that we just did before. Okay, at this point, we've uh, successfully enabled the application. How can we check it? Well, we can use the same command of ACI Diag app show, and we can actually see that its administrative state is now enabled. So at this point, we can then do a final check and point our web browser to one of the IP addresses of the out of band management of any of the three nodes. So let's do that. Okay, so here we are, we've pointed our web browser at one of the IPs in the cluster, uh, showing our newly installed MSO.ACI app on a virtual ASE cluster. Now, the first time that you log in, if you don't remember or read the install guide, there is a default admin user and password. This is the password, welcome to MSC exclamation point. Uh, it's going to ask you, of course, to change it the first time you log in, but you would put the admin and password and log in and then off you go. So I'm gonna end this video here because it's not about how to use MSO, it's how to get it installed. Uh, so thank you very much for watching.